there are approximately 2,800,000 Muslims in the UK. Most of them think the controversial film The Innocence of Muslims is blasphemous and want laws in place to prevent the publication of material that they consider to be offensive. On the other hand, others argue freedom of speech should prevail and be defended by the Western world. It's not the first time that the world has witnessed the long-running cultural clash between the global Muslim community and the Western liberal society. From the Salman Rushdie affair and the publication of his book The Satanic Verses in 1988 to the publication of 12 caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad by a Danish newspaper in 2005. JN1 spoke to Tao Offer, a member of the European Jewish Parliament, to find out more on Europe's stance on anti-blasphemy laws proposed by some leaders of countries where Islam is a main religion. Mr Offer believes that freedom of speech is paramount in Western societies. But the main issue here is the freedom of speech. And we in the West and in the UK and in Europe, we have to protect freedom of speech, freedom of expression. It's one of the fundamentals of, of democracy and we have to stand up for it. Many around the world would argue all citizens should be free to say what they wish without disrespecting others. Obviously you should always be careful in, in choosing your words in what you're saying and obviously there are laws in every country and if someone is interfering with the laws or doing something against the law, obviously there, is, there are courts uh, to judge. The member of the European Jewish Parliament thinks that those who feel offended by the controversial film should not watch it. I think for people where the movie offends them, I think the best way would not to watch the movie. Um, if you don't like it, just don't watch it, because no one forced them to watch the movie. Some people think that in order to avoid further terrorist attacks on Western diplomats and citizens, the film should be banned from YouTube and other media outlets. But Mr Offer believes that at present it's more important than ever before to defend freedom of speech. I think that the West, it's... We are currently at a very important place where we really need to protect freedom of speech uh, because if you're not going to do it, it will erode over time. Um, so as much as I say that a community like the Muslim community, the Jewish community, the Christian community, all been attacked by different sources, but you would never see a Jew or a Christian going and attacking an embassy or burning a flag of, of another country. You would never see that and you have to ask yourself, why, why does it happen? The member of the Jewish European Parliament believes that other religions have tolerated satirical material and caricatures and have not partaken in violent outbursts as a result of their publication. We should respect other people's opinions and values and religion, um, but Judaism, is, Judaism has been really attacked on a regular basis by lots of uh, caricatures and medias, uh, channels both in Europe and in the Arab world. But you, never, you would never see such reaction by, by Jewish communities, which is, which is the difference. Well, I think that's, that, that, that some of the cartoons, obviously, they are really offensive, they are extreme. Uh, but that's the point of cartoons. It's a freedom, it's, it's a way to express your views, sometimes in a bit in a radical way. But as long as it's, it's not something which is violent itself, I don't see a problem with, with caricatures, you know. Whether it's offending someone from the left, from the right, from, from one community and another, you know, as long as it's within the law. Tao Offer thinks that the film was not the real motive for the violent attacks on Western diplomats and embassies. The, the Muslim rage across the world uh, is not because of the movie. The movie is just a trigger for something that's been been cooked and been and been prepared uh, and waited for many years because deep inside they have feels of hatred towards America, what it represents, the Western values. So the, the movie in itself, it's what caused them to go out to the street, burn Israeli and American flags, even here in London, uh, Israeli and American flags were burned. This is something that can be tolerated. And so the debate continues. This is Celestina Olalode for JN1 in London.